Hi, my name is Ron Naflick with Edwards Instrument Company and I'm going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble an Armado water key. There are two ways you can do this. One, having the proper tool, which would be we call a C-clip tool, looks something like this. Uh, it can, can be purchased at a hardware store or the like. Uh, to get into the small space that is the C-clip on an Armado water key, I've actually had to slightly modify this tool. Um, I've had to grind this inner edge to make it smaller so that the pins uh, line up with the, the actual C-clip. Uh, but most tools should do. You can also substitute this uh, with a small common screwdriver uh, such as this and use it to pry out the C-clip. A little more dangerous um, <clears throat> in terms of slipping off but uh, is just as effective. I'll show you both ways to do it to take it apart and then uh, we'll go through the reassembly of it from there. Uh, the one thing you want to make sure you do from from the get-go is anytime we're dealing with anything that has springs we want to get our pair of safety glasses on and so what we'll do is we'll take our C-clip tool uh, if you notice there's uh, two small holes on the C-clip we're going to line up the pins on the tool itself and this little C-clip is going to want to spin around and so you just simply squeeze it together and then with a little wiggle out comes the C-clip quite handy little tool. Um, if you're good it'll even stay on the tool itself and, and keep you from losing it. So at this point we can push out any of the, the components of the model water key. You can see boing, they're, they're sprung out like that. Um, at this point you can take your common screwdriver push out the remaining parts and at this point you'd be good you can uh, take some light dish soap um, take it in a little, little basket and you could scrub it out um, Great way to get out the gunk, uh, get out the germs, uh, when you're doing your thorough cleaning. If you're replacing any parts, obviously at this time would be the time to change the spring out. Reassembly is quite simple. We have two sides to the amount of water key. One is a little smaller hole, that has somewhat of a, a lip, and then you have a little bit larger side. Um, so the assembly is going to be, we're going to start with the, the piston itself. That's going to be inserted in. It takes always a little wiggle. What I find helps if you grab a little spindle oil and put it inside that never hurts um, helps keep keep the dirt flowing out as well as keeps your water key moving smoothly so with the receiving end in we're going to kind of wiggle it it takes a little pop I always take a little sc screwdriver push it in touch more um, at this point you can take the, sp the small spring you're going to insert that in <clears throat> and then we have the, the small retaining clip uh, little cap uh, we're going to put that in and now since we have the C-clip still on there we're going to simply just squeeze it you kind of dive in the you kind of dip in the the opposite side first and then wiggle it until it pops in and then release the pliers at this point you're going to have to just push up on the water key and now it should pop right in now if you didn't have the proper tool to do this being the, the C-clip tool to take this apart, it's going to take a little bit more, and you're simply going to take the, the edge of the, the screwdriver, the flathead, and you're going to have to kind of squeeze it and, and pick at it. It's, uh, it's not the easiest operation in the world. It even helps if you have a second screwdriver to do this with. And you're going to oppose them and simply squeeze the two parts together, just like we did with the C-clip tool, and then it'll remove from there. And that's all it should take.